Ah uh, yeah, we are back with one of my favorite types of videos, a review video on a company that is pretty new and most of you have never heard of before and I get to bring you all the information, I get to bring in my beautiful wife Sam C to sit next to me, she'll break down the female perspective especially on their scents and how she thinks they smell and convey them to you and how it might smell to others out there. Pretty awesome. Welcome guys, Dan C. Bearded here. We're gonna get right into it so I do not waste any of your time. Let's see the review. The company that we are going to cover today is known as Bomba Beard. Now, I don't know this for 100% certainty, but if I remember correctly, I believe Bomba is a term that is used in the Spanish language a lot. And when I looked it up, there's literally like 20 different translations of Bomba. It's a style of dance. It's a whole bunch of things. But what I believe it comes down to and commonly used as is a compliment. So you are complimenting, in this case, somebody's beard. If I'm wrong, please correct me in the comments, especially the owner of the company. Speaking of the owner, his name is Marino. He is an active member of this beard community, has been for a long time, joins in on live streams, comments on videos. Well, he turned that passion into a curiosity and then eventually into a business. His wife is actually the one who encouraged him to try and make his own products and it turned out into what we see today, which is super cool when you have that support of your spouse uh, really backing you and pushing you. And they're out of Florida and they have some pretty unique stuff going on. I think that's all I have for the company side of things, but we'll get into all the other information next. Price. I like to rate every company based on a one, two, or three dollar sign price rating compared to what I consider the market average. And I'm gonna give Bomba Beard the top side of a two dollar sign price rating, which of course is still within that market average range. And their bottle of beard oil goes for $19.99. Now that would be the tippity tippity top of that price range, but not quite the three. I still think that's within the realm of being normal. Some people would say that's too expensive, that's blasphemy. Of course, every month every price thing is always relative to your economic situation and for me it always seems a little bit ridiculous when somebody's like that's crazy but I'll happily pay $17 and the difference is two or three then they go buy like a $7 Starbucks it's like hmm but regardless there is a discount code I'll put it up over here Dan C for 10% off so that brings it down comfortably within that range like I said it would have been right at the border but that discount takes off about two dollars bringing you right in that middle of that comfort it's not an affiliate there's no kickback no commission on sales, just savings for you guys. La Bamba, La Bamba. <laughs> da, 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 da. Is that a song? No. No? Okay. Well, <laughs> the name of this company, Sam C, is Bamba Beard. Oh. Yes. And I said it in the intro, but I believe, so Bamba, I think comes from a Spanish language. I looked it up. There's like 20 uses of Bamba translated, but I believe, I do know it's a dance, but I believe it is a compliment that was originated between dance partners that they would exchange. And this would be like a complimenting your beard, a Bamba like, beard. You Bamba. Like, dang, that beard is Bamba. <laughs> You just gotta make sure you get the A in there, certain places, yeah, you know, you don't wanna mm -hmm. go too crazy. Or, if it's not the actual meaning of it, they're gonna correct us in the comments, and it made for an entertaining fail. So, <laughs> yes. So, we are gonna cover this company here, and we have three cents today, actually only two cents, one is unscented, but I do wanna get your take on that. By the way, I've been wearing this company the last two days in a row, wore it yesterday and today, and I wore unscented. Do you know if you smelled anything in beard yesterday or today? Yesterday, yes. Okay. Today, you, no. Okay, what'd you smell yesterday? I smelled the smell you had in the day before. Oh, interesting. Yeah, because I really liked it. Yesterday? Mm -hmm. You smelled from it the smelled day before? The same, yeah. Interesting. I wonder mm -hmm. if there was like a linger effect yeah. from it. Okay, because yeah, I wore the one that you're about to smell two days in a row now, and uh, it was, it's been sitting on the bathroom counter yes. if you saw that. I don't even remember. I see it. 
I don't even. Yeah, it's bugs. Are, when I, when I'm te- <laughs> it's so I I'm very organized with my beard products, mm-hmm. except when I'm testing because they don't have a spot yet because yeah. they're in the testing process. So they sit up there, and then I have like a butter I'm working on with a company, and she moved it to be like <gasps> I know this is here. I hate things. Yeah. On counters. Yes. Our kitchen counters. And clean. I'm, Our island clean. Hey, and I'm I'm equally as clean. My half of the bathroom. Hey, clean. who cleaned the kitchen counters last night? Listen, Me. It's not. Not clean, like free of debris. Okay. All right. Well, I debris. I free debris it yesterday. <laughs> debris. <laughs> I debris it. Uh, but the only time it's on the counter is if I am working on a review. Yeah. It's like uh, and that's just how it is. And well, sometimes you put it on my half, so I just have to move it over. Yeah, because I get ready, then the blow dryer cord will knock it over, so I gotta get out of the way. Okay. So this is what I've had in the last couple of days. Let's see to get your take on it. First off, you see the color of that oil? Mm-hmm. Isn't that beautiful? Sure. You don't like that? I love, love, love that color. Looks like olive oil to me. Really? Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's a little bit more, a little bit more sensual to me. Or it looks like pee. <laughs> no, <laughs> if this looks like pee, you gotta get evaluated. It's my vitamins. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Which is true. <laughs> vitamins will affect the color of your pee. All right, here, go ahead and give it a okay. smell. This is unscented, but okay. with an, an exotic carrier blend. Okay. And I will say, first and foremost, this is unscented, meaning no scent was added. There definitely is scent yeah, to it. Yeah, there is. And I'll, I'm, I have a very clear description. I want to hear how, how you would describe oh. this, unscented. Hmm. What is this? I know this smell. Hmm. I smell it always. Yeah, so again, everybody wonders, right, is it fragrance-free? Is it truly no smell to it? No, There's no this fragrance. This is the most smelliest unscented I've ever smelled. Yep. And so I filmed all my parts before this and I believe in my feel portion of it, I say that like this is the most potent natural smell I've ever had. There's something that the boys eat. Interesting. Daily that smells like this. Interesting. I can't All right, let me get a smell. Just in general, how would you describe it? It, it's, I don't want to say it's unpleasant, but it's not a pleasant smell, yeah. I feel like. It's like mus, mus, musky, musty. See, for me, it's skunky, just... Skunky, sort of? For me, it's just straight up nutty. It smells like walnuts. I get, I smell, get, smell and think walnuts. Specifically? Specifically walnuts. It does smell like walnuts. There's that, mm-hmm. like... Walnuts have that weird, like, wood sort yeah. of smell. Yep, yep. There's a woodsiness, a nuttiness, a naturalness to it. Yeah, it's... Mm, I don't know. If it, if that smell goes away in beard... Yeah, we'll smell oh. right now. Because I only put it in a couple hours ago. I'm getting a different smell. That's interesting. Yeah. Yeah, this Your is what's like in. like absorbed like that cologne smell. Might have. The other day. Yeah, this is just two days in a row. This is the only thing that... that I've had. And I washed my beard today. That's interesting. So hmm, maybe I just maybe it's just the, the man the smell just coming just out of there. Those <laughs> those Dan pheromones. Oh, so geez. yeah, it's it's nutty, it's yeah. natural, it is I and I don't know if I like play a trick with my brain because I know that it's like ridiculously nourishing and it's different and exotic. I love it. I could wear this every day. What's I the love exotic it. oil that's in it that's given it? Um there's definitely tamanu oil is gonna play a part in that. That's probably the biggest, smelliest one. And then uh broccoli seed oil has a nice little pungent pungent uh, that's where that to it. Muskiness yeah. is coming from. Yep, probably broccoli. the broccoli. <laughs> yeah, probably the broccoli seed oil. All right. And and if you just smell straight up broccoli seed oil, it does kind of smell like broccoli. So and we eat broccoli most days, so maybe that's what yeah. you're thinking. All right. So the next one we have is Bay Bay Habib? <laughs> I don't know. I need your help on that. Where's it at? Right here. Do you not have your glasses on? I do, but it's just hard. Bay Habib. Bay Habib. <laughs> yep. I don't Sorry know. Sorry <laughs> on that one. Sorry on that one. So I'll let you get a smell here, and then I will tell you the fragrances that they have. One thing, let me double check, make sure here. Yes, one thing that I love is that he does list his fragrances on the ingredient list. Don't oh. have to in the United States of America. But he does anyway. All right. What you got here for a takeaway smell? Super, super duper floral. Okay. Yep. Super. This is the floral one. Okay. Agreed. Very floral. It's, it's the flower and it's the stem. Okay. You know, like flower stems. Correct. Smell very green. Yes. Very earthy. Yep. So that's all of it. 
put it in a blender, mixed it up. So the last ingredient's rose hip oil, but that's not what it is. Rose, yep, the fragrance, that. bergamot, sandalwood, and cedar. Hmm. Yeah, it's just super. It just smells like it's like a rose Flowers. shop. Yeah. Yep, yep. And I, I don't mind it. I like it. It does fade quickly in beard. It's not something that stays around. You didn't comment on it when I wore no. it. I didn't point it out to you. Um, so, yeah, very floral, very light, very nice. One thing that is a goal of this company is he wants to have products that are going to be promoted and uh, men and women can use. He designed it specifically for his uh, the females in his family to be able to wear. Um, so, yeah. That's one thing that I could see uh, a lot of women liking. And I like floral scents. All right. What do, okay, so what are your thoughts on it? Like it, love it, not for you? I'm not into floral scents right now. Hmm. I just... Interesting, it's, okay. It's it's too much. Okay. I need it, it, I need it like, cut with something. Okay, so you... a little bit of floral. Okay, so you like floral as a teammate, but not the star of the show? Yes. Okay, all right, <laughs> good way to put it. All right, next one we have is Calma. Calma. Let's see if it is. I feel like I always need to check these after that. that hey. What was that incident? Hey. The circus one hey. or whatever? Hey. That's true. Carnival. Carnival. Car uh, what was it? Carnival. Carnival. Car Something. Yeah, I did butcher that one. That was embarrassing. I've had a couple that have been totally different words. <laughs> <laughs> this is Calma. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, man. Reading. I am good at reading, just not pronunciation sometimes. Or spelling. Yeah, that's true. That's true. My brain works faster than everything else. Mm. All right, what you got for this one? Um, is it like a, like an orange mint? Okay. This is much lighter. Like a lavender? Mmm, let's see here. First one, lavender. Okay. Dang. I feel like anything that has calm, though, has lavender. <laughs> Tea tree, lemon, chamomile, and frankincense. Okay, so essentially what I said. Yeah, yeah. yep. It's lighter. I like it. I do too. It's, it's yeah, it's my favorite <laughs> out of these uh, battles with the unscented, but yeah, I like it. It's pretty chill. It's 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 common, I feel like. Yeah. It's not anything special. I mm -hmm. had, I'm, didn't smell it, and I was like, oh, that's amazing. Right. It's like, oh, okay, it's another, you know, one of these. For sure. But I like it. I agree. I agree. This is definitely a nighttime. I have the butter over here. Fantastic to go to bed with. Uh, it's not something that's going to offend anybody next to you, and it's not super strong. Definitely the strength of this company right now is their carrier blend, their nourishment, the, all that, which we'll get into in the next segment. The scents, yeah, are, are there's only three right now that I have, the unscented, then two fragrance ones. Um, I would say that our favorite one is definitely, it's not mind-blowing, it's just good. Yeah. And then the rose one definitely could work on some balance, uh, but it also is good. I could wear it. A tough, tough challenge is having that carrier blend and making a fragrance that's going to be pure, right? If you have a carrier blend that's completely unscented, you get to do whatever you want with those fragrances. Yeah. This one, you got to consider them and, and work that into the profile. So it, it is tough. The thing is that I did not smell the scent of the unscented coming out in either of the scented. Yeah. Gosh, I feel like that was confusing. <laughs> you know what you I didn't mean, smell though? the carrier blend yeah. with the fragrances. Yeah. yeah, and that that's the challenge. That's the goal of the company is to be able to find stuff that's going to do that. I can't even imagine how many trials he had to do with different fragrances yeah. to try and get that and to achieve that. So definitely. So Calma would be your, your choice yeah. if you had to keep one. Definitely. Okay. Cool, okay. cool, cool. Same Let scene. me smell the butter. Oh, oh, okay. Butter. You want unscented? You, which one you want? We'll go unscented. This is one I've been okay. using. And it's different because th there are like six butters in this. This one is definitely nutty. Yep. I get that. Mm -hmm. Nutty, woodsy. Yeah, sort of very thing. different than the carry blend. Even though it has all those oils in here, uh, the butters are just more potent. Interesting. So on the, the ingredient list. Sam C, anything new? People always like the, the Sam C updates and mm. banter. New shirt. New shirt. Rocking this one. One of my favorites. Actually, it might be my favorite now. The black Do you on feel black. It a lot? No, it's kind of like velvety. <laughs> it is. It's yeah. like soft. It's raised. Yeah, it is raised. So you get a little bit and of it's like. It's very dimension. matte, which Dan requested. Yes, I don't like <laughs> as shiny. And the shirts aren't like when we first started, like the very beginning, which most people don't have, uh, they were very shiny. And yeah. then you switched, they mm -hmm. weren't as shiny. And then this is like 
ultra There's not n- shiny. Not one bit <laughs> Just of shine. Pure pure man on here. Yes. <laughs> so yeah, we have these coming. Uh, or they're out. They're out now. And yep. then uh, you have some hats coming soon. Yeah, they should so be here. So stay tuned. Do we have any of these left? That's why I wore this. We do have black ones okay. left. We have probably about ten left. Okay. All right. So we might not drop the new hats until these are sold. So just keep that in mind. Or they'll just be up too. So who knows? Who knows there? <laughs> All right. Other than that, anything else, Sam C? Um. I don't think so. No, she and everybody keeps asking. She's recovered well. Yep. She's back to now for the first time since her surgery, a couple months, uh, working out every day and lifting yep. weights and stuff. And so no strength. Yeah, she's it's building so it. So weird. She's got so it. So weird. And I keep telling her, it's like not only did you not, you weren't allowed to lift for a couple months. You weren't allowed to do anything. You couldn't yeah. even lift up a jug of water by doctor's yeah. orders. So, of <laughs> course, it's like extreme like setback. You right. lose it. It wasn't you... just not working exactly, out. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. exactly. So, you'll build it up. You like yeah. the process and everything. So, uh, shout out to Sam C. And anybody out there getting better each day, 1% at a time? <laughs> Love it. All right, Sam. Thank you, beautiful. Welcome. Feel in Beard. This is where this company absolutely shines from the ingredient list to the way it makes my beard feel healthy and amazing and especially the way it styles. Now my beard only has in their unscented oil today. I did the same exact thing yesterday and one thing that I just realized as I sat down to talk about this feel segment is I posted an Instagram picture last night. I always film about a week in advance so some of you are like, oh, that seemed like a while ago. It is. But I posted an Instagram picture last night and I essentially put the caption and like, does your beard ever feel like amazing and look amazing without even trying or doing anything differently? And then it dawned on me. I used this company yesterday. Literally, it was like, I don't know, whatever time I posted it at eight o'clock or something last night. And I was like, my goodness, I got ready at like 7 a.m. It was a weekend and my beard is just feeling and looking fantastic. And I was wearing this company. So a little side story there. All right, first, let's talk about the oil and the butter here. That's what I have. Very exotic. You're going to see a lot of things in here that are not common. And I absolutely love that. So the oil, first thing is you see that golden color there. I love, 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 love. Uh, When talking to the owner and he is asking me about bottles, I highly encourage the clear bottles here to be able to see that oil. Some people say, oh, you need green or brown to protect from UV rays. If your oils are in the range of UV rays, you're doing it wrong anyway. Color doesn't really matter when it comes to beard oils. Store them in a place where there's no sunlight and you'll be okay. All right, so let's take a look at the ingredient list here first. And here we got in here, rice bran. Metal foam seed, and these are all oils, of course. Hemp seed, broccoli seed, tamanu, and baobab, and rosehip. Whoo, some bangers, some heavy hitters. I think I've covered every single one of those. Maybe not tamanu oil yet, but almost every one of these in my Carrier Oils 101. Recommend them all, love them all, but how do they come together? How do they balance? Well, the oil is a straight up medium viscosity. I wouldn't say medium light, I wouldn't say thick. A straight up medium viscosity, as we covered in the scent profile, this is the most nutty, natural smelling carrier blend I've ever experienced. So I just want to make sure people know that, but it's unbelievable in beard, you guys. My beard feels like it can style super well, right? If it's too heavy, eh, don't like it. If it's too light, then it's not going to be the best for styling. This is right in that middle ground. Feels fantastic. It feels light, feels free unbelievably amazing on the field. And I'm not, it's unbelievably amazing, you guys. This will be in my rotation, especially this unscented when I'm like, you know what, I just need a healthy day. Or hey, I need my beard on point. I can go to this with absolute, absolute certainty that it's gonna style well. Now the butter, now I'm gonna butcher some of these, but I will try my best. Listen to the ingredients on this beard butter, then I'll show you guys how this looks here. Uh, elip- and I've looked this one up a million times. I always mess up. So I'm just gonna give you guys my best shot here. Um, elipe butter, uh, maru maru, kokum, mar- this one's a new one to me too. Um, maro, mau ra, mau ra. I think that's probably how. Sound it out, Dan. Hooked on phonics, passed it. Uh, mango, shea butter. All of those were butters to this point. Normally we see one or two butters, uh, which there's nothing wrong with that. I just wanna make sure we're clear. And then we have the carrier oil blend that finishes that out here. Wonderful balance. When I see some butters in there that I know are on the harder, tackier side, I get a little bit worried, but it all comes down to your ratio. Are you going with a 50-50 oil to butter? Are you going 60-40, right? There's a whole creation process. Now, let me show you guys what this looks like. And again, when I saw the names on there, I'm like, oh man, I don't like hard. I don't like tacky butters. Look at how smooth and soft this is. 
It's not going to be anything that's going to melt and just be like water consistency when it gets to you. But it's something that, well, let me get a decent amount here. It's something that when you get into your hand and you get the heat and friction on it, you're going to, there we go, get that heat and friction on it, it's going to melt down really nicely. Now there's a little bit of micro grit there. That's nothing that I mind. I actually kind of like it. Shows that there's a little bit of a, I don't know, a little bit of body, a little bit of texture to it. But I just want to make sure you guys have a heads up on that. So nourishing, so wonderful. Uh, to me, it offers a little bit of styling and hold, but not much. And I only use it as a nighttime nourishing butter anyway. But it leaves my beard feeling fantastically like fresh and easy to run through in the morning. When I get in the shower, let's say I use a butter that's not great quality, or I didn't use a butter the night before because I'm traveling or whatever the reason is. The number one way that I notice is when I try to run my fingers through my beard when I get in that morning shower. When it's not a good night before, it's like, oh gosh, I can feel tangles. When I have this in my beard or any other quality good butter, oh yeah, you just run through. It's smooth, it's light, it feels healthy. This checks all those boxes. So if there's a star of the show for this company, it's their feel and beard, right? Far exceeds so many of the other companies that we see on a regular daily basis as far as being unique, which I really recommend to companies, and as far as being effective, styling, feeling, really fantastic feel and beard. To wrap this up, I always like to let you guys know if I recommend this company to you or not. And I do take that extremely seriously. I know that's hard earned money that you're going to be spending. And if I do recommend something, somebody out there somewhere is going to try it. And then I always hear about it. If I recommended something that was not what I say or did not live up to it, it's going to get back to me. That's going to hurt the reputation. So I can only give that information accurately. And you guys know, I don't mind giving like not recommendations. It's not fun. Fun, but it's necessary and I have to do it with this company I highly recommend they have a fair price they have fantastic products passionate ownership they're just getting started everything they do is just going to continue to get better and better and better and I really believe this is a company where you would enjoy their products and you would enjoy supporting their dream their journey and building this beard company that they have so first off I know there's probably not a lot of you out there at this point but who knows in the future where this goes have you tried Bomba Beard? Please leave a comment down below on your thoughts, your experiences. Completely uncensored. I just ask that you're respectful. Was it the best ever? Was it somewhere in the middle? Was it not for you? Please let us know. And then also, do you guys have any questions for me, for the company, for the owner, anything at all in the comment section? I appreciate you guys, especially if you made it this far. I know our reviews are long. I know they're detailed, but that's our style. That's what I want to see as a consumer. When I go watch other reviews for things outside of beard products, I want it broken down. I I really want to hear those those thoughts and details so i hope you guys appreciate it thank you guys dancy bearded stay bearded and stay positive